hey, here's a little bit of feedback, uh, follow up from our Cami session from Act 80 Day. Uh, I worked with Cami, found out some things, and worked out a process that I think might um, make it a little bit more easier for you um, to use, especially with Schoology. If you recall, um, Cami is an extension that you can install in Chrome, and it allows you to view uh, documents of various types and also annotate them from your Google Drive, from your computer, or you can even create new blank documents and just start writing. So it's great to use that way, um, but it's also uh, integrated with Schoology. So uh, I'm going to review that real quick. Again, you need to have that Schoology or that Cami extension loaded as well as students do in order for this to work. So um, if I'm in a course, I'm gonna create an assignment and we're gonna use that Cami tool. Okay, I'm gonna give it a name. So, I'm putting in the description here. I think it's a good idea to put open with Cami. Um, have them, tell them to open with Cami button so that uh, it makes their own copy. Um, and I'm just writing, you know, my directions and I could continue that. Um, but I'm going to get right, cut right to the chase and I'm going to show you the Cami button. I can click on the Cami button and then attach a document. And it could be, like I said, something from your drive. It could be a Google Doc. Um, it could be a PDF, um, it could be a picture. Uh, I'm gonna click on recent because I know that I have some documents here that I would like to use. So I'm gonna use this heart PDF and it's attaching it. So it's telling me it will create a copy for every student and that's when they click on, you know, open with Cami and then click on create. So from the teacher standpoint, that's kind of what it took to make that assignment. As I go in as a student, and I'm just gonna click out of this because I made this new assignment. I'm gonna click on the assignment here. Here it is, parts of the heart. And here is that open assignment with Cami. So as a student, I would click on that and then um, you know it opens it up. I'd have to have that Cami. Uh, extension and there it's importing it into Schoology, uh, into Google, excuse me, there's that folder, uh, the, the Schoology Cami folder. Unfortunately, teachers don't have a folder like that, which I raised that issue with Cami um, and they said, yes, we, we know that uh, we're getting feedback. Um, I could write on this. I don't know what part of the heart this is. I should talk to our health teachers so they can instruct me. Um, I'm gonna make it like red. Okay, I could draw, da da da. Okay, and then what I was asking you to do during the workshop was click on this turn in button. So I'll do that again, just so you see, uh, recall, I'm gonna click on save now, by the way, it just showed me unsaved changes. Okay, um, I'm gonna click on the turn in. So I had to click on turn in and then there was a second turn in button. And what it does is it makes a static copy of that PDF. And then I can just click on submit here and then it went to the assignment. Now let me see if I click on it as a student what it looks like. Yeah, I can even see that it's not really quite right. but. Um, I recall during our session that um, I mean, Mike. I think Mike Cleffy handed it in, and it looked kind of strange. Um, so, really, what this is doing? So, I'm going in as a teacher. Is it's opening up this document in the Schoology document viewer. This is not Cami, so it's trying to open it. But like you can see, I made the note here, but like it should be in the box. Like it, it just isn't right. So, you know, I'm backing out of this and this is what we came up with Cami until they 
they're making that interface so that when you click on it, it will open up and it will be Cami here. It's not done yet. Okay, that's coming. But what they said to do in the meantime, and we kind of figured this out, was do this. Tell your students to hand in their documents like this. So they click on a open assignment with Cami, and this is not going to create another copy. It's going to show me the document that I already created since, you know, I'm, I'm going to the same document. Okay, so instead of the turn in, have them go to this share document button, click on it. It's going to prompt the student to upload to get a link. So it wants them to put it in Google. Okay. Then it says link sharing is on. They don't have to touch anything here. I just want you to see that it says anyone with a link can annotate. So they're going to share this link with you. And they can just click on copy, exit out, then click on turn in, turn in. So now we're kind of doing what we did earlier, but with a difference. Because now we have that link. Then tell your student to click on where it has comment there and paste the link and then submit. And if they forget to do that the first time, they can resubmit, you know, and do it again. Um, but what does that look like on the other end? So as a teacher, okay, now when I got this assignment, in addition to this file, which, you know, you're kind of getting a timestamp. Um, I'm getting this link and then I can just click on it and then it's going to open up in Cami for me and then I can make any kind of, you know, annotation, feedback, et cetera, here with the tools, which is awesome. The one thing that I want to let you know is that because this is sort of like it's uploading it as a file, Students still have access to this file after they, quote, turn it in. It's in their drive. So I brought that up with them as, hey, you know, they're kind of teachers are used to this kind of all changing. I don't know when, if or when that will happen, if they will make it that the students file will, you know, they can't edit it anymore. But while we're in this this little uh, interim time, you can click here where it has this sidebar. And if you want to see when things are added to the document, you can click on this little bubble and it's going to show you when students have made changes. So if you're kind of wondering, you know, while you're correcting it, maybe you want to click on this first and then go to see you know, if they've made changes lately after they've handed it in. I know that's a pain, but that is one way of checking if you're pretty much getting the original assignment there. All right, hope this helps um, in the interim, and I'll let you know uh, when we get more information about the Cami Viewer and Schoology. Thanks.